Hi, I'm Stephanie from This Intentional Home, and today I wanted to share a video with you about a simple way to find out if you're doing too much as a homeschool mom. I know a lot of times um, life can be really hectic or crazy because of outside circumstances going on, um, but sometimes the reason that we're so stressed and overwhelmed is because we actually do have too much on our plate. And I recently just figured out a way to really figure that out, if it is that I have too much on my plate. And so I thought that I would share um, that with you today. If I were to ask you what all your week entails, what would you say? My guess is you'd say laundry, cleaning, homeschool, having good time with the kids, like individual time with them. You'd probably say um, you might be working, you might have um, to have doctor's appointments and budgeting and the list goes on and on and on. Um, and it, it, as a homeschool mom, it a lot of times feels like you're doing more than is humanly possible. Um, recently, I added working onto my schedule. I don't know if any of you other homeschool moms are working, but I added that on. And it felt like I was doing more than I possibly could, um, that I physically couldn't do everything that was on my list. And so um, I knew that I was getting close to burning out. And so I was doing that for a couple months and realized that I was not taking care of myself. Um, and I knew that I was heading towards that burnout really quickly. It just seemed like there were not enough hours in the week to get everything done that I had on my to-do list. And time went on to show that I was actually correct. Um, but here are some of the signs to know that um, you are kind of getting towards that burnout and that you probably have too much on your plate. You find yourself yelling at the kids, you have anxiety or panic attacks, um, depression, you don't have time for the most important things in your life, you're not sleeping well, you're on edge, you're constantly snapping at people, and you constantly feel overwhelmed. Now, not all of those things can come just from having too much on your plate. There are many other factors that can go into those. But if, if you found yourself um, checking off a lot of those things that I mentioned, it could be that you have too much on your plate. And so here is a little exercise that you can do to see if it's coming from um, just having too much on your plate. I was recently listening to a business podcast and he was talking about time management and he mentioned that you should sit down um, and write out everything that you do in a week, um, everything that you want to be doing and write all that down and then write down next to it how many hours each of those things takes in a week. And he mentioned that we only have 168 hours in a week. and if you start writing that down, which I encourage you to um, pause this video or do it afterwards, go get a piece of paper and write down everything that you do in a week and write down the hours. And I'm talking like sleeping, eating, um, uh, spending time with the kids, going on a date with your spouse, church, anything that you, every single thing you do in a week and write out how many hours that takes. Um, and write down like with sleep, like you really, don't put like, I'm only getting three, like write down, I'm needing this many hours of sleep. Um, and write all of that down and see how many hours you end up with. If you're like me, you're gonna end up with over 168 um, between all the things that I am doing and the things that I'm, I'm wanting to be doing that I'm like not getting to cross off my list. And after I did that, it actually made me feel better because I realized there is no humanly possible way to get all of this done. There just isn't. Um, and so it's not me. It's just that I, I can't physically do it. And so um, that helped That helped me to see that. Um, and so now that you have seen that, that it's just you can't do all of that, now it's time to prioritize um, what you do get done in a week. So next you're going to make a list of all the things in order of priority that you are wanting to do in a week. So this is where you're gonna really get to write down what you want to do. So right at the top of the list, you need to make sure that you're, you're taking care of yourself too. 
So you need to be writing down um, sleeping and eating and um, exercising, if that's something that you're wanting to put in that you're not doing right now. Um, things that are good for you and that will help you to thrive instead of um, burning out. So put them in order. Um, you know, you might put things like spending time with your kids individually um, and reading with them so many times a day. And uh, of course, put homeschool and how long that actually takes. Um, not how many, how long you wish it would take, but how long it actually takes. Go ahead and write that down and write how many hours you want to spend each week. And that'll help you to kind of um, figure out what you can handle. If you're still over 168, um, you need to be cutting out something. Maybe you could hire out help if you can. If you can't, um, maybe a spouse could help, a friend could help with something every week, or you might just have to be taking some things off in order to make room for the things that are actually important to you. And so I hope that um, by you doing this, you'll be able to have a more simplified, um, peaceful week instead of constantly feeling overwhelmed like you're drowning. Um, but instead, you will be more intentional with your time um, and actually get to do the things that you want to.